Today, we're going to talk about tips for taking your teens and preteens to Disney World. Right, Silas? Right, Silas? He's so excited. First things first, get your kids involved in the planning. Uh, here you go. Mm. Get your teenager involved in the planning process. It'll make all of the difference. There are a ton of great resources that you can send your teen to that will be fun and interesting and get them really excited about Disney World. I like the Burn Bombs planning books for Disney World. There are also a ton of great websites like WDW, where you can learn all sorts of interesting things and decide what you want to do and what interests you because there are endless options at Disney World. So get your teen involved, have them do research of their own, and decide what they're really excited about doing. It'll get them pumped to go to Disney World. I'm going to book your Fast Pass for Winnie the Pooh. No, Space Mountain. Don't book all of your fast pass and restaurant reservations for your family. Let them get involved. Have your teenager decide what rides they want to go on, what kind of food they want to try. If you make them more involved and make them a part of the planning process, they are going to enjoy it so much more. I know I want my children to be babies forever, but the reality is teens are going to want to go on some of the thrill rides. They're going to want to do other things. They may even want to explore parks other than Disney World. So talk to them about that. Maybe spend a day at Universal or at SeaWorld if that's something that interests them. But again, make them part of the process and they will have a ton more fun at Disney World. Also, and my son would probably kill me for saying this, keep in mind that Teens and preteens are still kids, and even though they want to do all the grown-up things and they might be too old for meeting characters, they're never too old for meeting characters. They're still going to have fun. They're still going to enjoy meeting all of the characters. They're still going to do all of the classic Disney World things. So don't let them fool you for even a minute, because you know what? Kids will be kids. It's also not a bad idea to have at least one or two days where you let your teenager sleep in. Right, Silas? Right, Silas? <laughs> okay, I know what you're gonna say. I always talk about getting to the parks at Rope Drop, getting there right when it opens, getting there 45 minutes before the park opens. But the reality is teenagers like to sleep in. So at least have a couple of days where your teen can sleep in. It's okay, you're not gonna miss out on everything. Just make sure you plan your fast pass accordingly. Plan to stay in the parks later because honestly, later in the day, all those people with smaller kids are probably gonna be heading home. So you will have an opportunity to go on some of the other rides with less of a wait if you stay at the parks later in the day. So have at least a few days where you sleep in, you kinda take it easy in the morning, you get to the parks, but you stay later in to the evening. This will make your teenager happy, which in turn will make you happy. It's also not a bad idea to give your teen a little bit of freedom and space. Give your teenager a little bit of independence. If they want to go off for a little bit without you, let them. If they want to go on a ride without you, take full advantage. This might be an opportunity for you and your husband or your wife to have a little bit of alone time. Or if you have younger children, maybe you can spend some time going on some little kid rides with them while your teen can go and enjoy some things that maybe are a little better suited for them. So if they want some independence, take full advantage. They're going to have more fun and it's going to give everybody a little bit of freedom. I think vacation time is all about balancing independence and what you want to do with family time. And this is the perfect way to do it. So let your kid go on a ride, plan to meet up at a certain time, and then everybody can go and enjoy some time together as a family. So what's the bottom line with traveling to Disney World with teenagers? One, keep them involved. Make them a part of the planning process. Let them know when you're going, what you want to do, where you want to stay, and take their opinion into consideration. Treating them as an equal in the planning process will make your trip far more enjoyable because they're going to have a blast if they're helping you plan and making some real decisions. And that goes for 
restaurants, fast pass, hotels, keep them involved. Obviously, the end of the day, the say is yours, but keeping your teen and preteen involved will make it far more enjoyable for everybody. Also, have days where your teenager can sleep in. A sleeping teenager is going to be a happy teenager, so let them sleep in. Maybe start your day later. Even though we talk endlessly about getting to the parks at opening, it's not the end of the world if you show up a little bit later. Sleep in, have a late breakfast, head over to the parks, and end up making it a later night. If you can make it a later night, you can often avoid some of the crowds of the people who have smaller children who want to head back a little bit earlier. Keep them involved, let them sleep in, and let them be kids. Kids will be kids. They're still going to have a blast no matter what. I promise you that. Lastly, have fun. For more great Disney videos, subscribe now. And we'll, we'll see, see you in the park. No teens were harmed during the filming of this video.